Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Today I will present our paper Homography Loss for Monocular 3D Object Detection. Monocular 3D Object Detection is a fundamental task in computer vision, which is cost-effective with convenience than LIDAR-based detection, thus has drawn much attention in today's industry. However, reasoning 3D boxes from a single image is an opposed problem, which increases the difficulty and also challenges. Most current methods consider each 3D object as an independent training sample and leverage projection loss as a geometry constraint. However, this constraint is a partial and loose constraint, which ignores the relative positions of objects and the fact that all objects are located in the same world plane. Therefore, seeking a global geometric constraint is essential for monocular 3D object detection. To handle these existing problems, we introduce the concept of homography. We know that homography matrix is a mapping between two planar surfaces which preserves collinearity. During the calculation of homography, all pairs of points will be included and the solution is guaranteed to be globally optimal. Therefore, homography can serve as a global geometric constraint in monocular 3D object detection. Based on these observations, we want to implement the homography from 2D image space to 3D bird's eye view space, which is able to implicitly transform coordinates from 2D to 3D space, and simultaneously encodes the mutual relationships of all the objects. Therefore, we propose a novel loss function named homography loss. The major solution can be listed in three steps. Firstly, we need to model candidate points. Suppose we have the predicated boxes obtained from an arbitrary 3D detector and the corresponding ground truth boxes. We need to select the bottom points, which include centers and corners, in 2D and BEV space. Secondly, we use the differentiable SVD to calculate homography h-hat between 2D ground truth points and BEV predicted points. The h-hat stores the mutual relationships of all the objects by mapping between two views. And during the training, h-hat will gradually get close to h from calibration matrix. Finally, based on the calculated matrix, we propose a novel loss function named homography loss. It is a global loss to guide the prediction of 3D positions from the ground truth to delocalization. It can be a plug-and-play module for any monocular 3D object detector and serves as a strong spatial constraint for 3D localization of objects. To test the effectiveness and robustness of our homography loss, we adapt it into two kinds of detectors with different settings. An anchor-based detector in Voxelnet and a keypoint-based detector Monoflex. The results in Kitty Benchmark can be seen in three tables. As demonstrated in Table Kitty Test Car, our proposed method achieves superior results on car category compared with previous methods, even including those with extra data. To be specific, Monoflex plus Homo achieves 1.81%, 1.05%, and 1% gains on the easy, moderate, and hard settings. In Table Test Others, we can also find that our method leads to the competitive performance in other categories. This shows our homography loss can also improve the performance of small objects. We also conduct ablation studies to analyze the effects of our loss. We use different calculation mode, proposal settings, replicated losses, loss weights and projection loss in both detectors. Besides, we also want to figure out why homography loss is useful for improving the accuracy of 3D detection. We design an experiment that divides the depth range into several segments. We can see that in the area 10 meters away, the effect of the detection algorithm with homography loss is much better than that of the baseline. The improvement of distant objects is due to the homography relationship, which refines the inaccurate estimated 3D positions to satisfy the overall geometric constraint. Here, we share a video of the detection results of a certain Kitty Raw sequence. Thanks for watching. The PyTorch code will be open sourced in GitHub, and more results can be seen in our paper.